Guys, to a new allegation involving the infamous Brave Cave. It takes us all the way back to the first complaint to drag troubling accusations of bad police behavior to light. This time it involves a pregnant teenager who you see detained here. Her attorney tells me she was illegally strip searched and interrogated at the Brave Cave, even though she was never under arrest. A new accusation involving the infamous Brave Cave comes with never before seen body camera footage and big legal questions concerning a pregnant teenager. I didn't see this coming. I did not see this coming. Oh man, you come here real quick. In January of 2023, members of the BRPD Street Crimes Unit raided a home on Cadillac Street, where documents show they found a stash of drugs and weapons. Several people were arrested, including Jeremy Lee. Stop. Turn your camera on. Turn your camera on. Stop touching me. Stop. Man, I'll turn around. From outside on the ground to inside the secret interrogation warehouse, as first reported by the WAFBI team, Lee was questioned and claims officers beat him so badly that he needed medical attention. These documents show Lee was treated for a fractured rib. This led to the first of several lawsuits against the department from people who claim they too were taken to the secret so-called Brave Cave and subjected to potentially illegal treatment, like strip searches, at the hands of some police officers. In some cases, those people were never even charged with a crime. Following our reports, the Brave Cave was closed and the Street Crimes Unit disbanded, while the accusations were investigated by local Local and federal authorities. If you were doing a thorough investigation and you care about the taxpayers' money, if you care about the taxpayers' welfare, their health, their constitutional rights, how did you miss this? Now, attorney Ryan Thompson says a teenaged girl who was at the home where Jeremy Lee was arrested claims she too was taken to the Brave Cave and strip searched. At the time, she was seven months pregnant. If you have a 16 year old child, right, who's not an adult, who doesn't know the law again, when the officer tell her, tells her that she's been detained, she says, what does that mean? What does that mean? Thompson says when the raid happened, the then 16-year-old was sitting outside with two other teens eating crawfish. Thompson says the teens were initially detained in a police unit for several hours. I can't use the bathroom. The blue car. His pregnant client says she was shackled and only allowed to leave once to use the bathroom at a nearby police station. At that point in time, you have the 17 year old, the 16 year old advising officers and Tafari Beard that they're 17, they want their mother, they want to place a phone call. He tells them that they're going to the office. At that point in time, obviously they're at the Brave Cave and they're both strip searched. While this is body camera footage showing the girl being detained, Thompson says there is nothing documenting the strip search or the fact that officers were dealing with minors on the scene. The interesting part about this is that you have the law, then you have policy. Baton Rouge Police Department states that if you're going to strip search someone or perform a visual body cavity search, they are required to either get a warrant or to seek approval from a supervisor and it must be documented with articulable facts why you strip searched that person and whether or not you found any contrabands of weapons. I don't have any of that right now. Do you think that exists? No. Since our first report on the Brave Cave, the Baton Rouge Police Department's strip search policy has come under fire. This summer, a federal judge ruled the policy is unconstitutional. In response, Baton Rouge Police Chief T.J. Moore says he's committed to reviewing all BRPD policies. But Thompson says there's another big problem in this case. According to Thompson, there is video of the teenager being interrogated after the search without a parent or attorney, which violates her rights as a minor. We're not disputing whether or not this 16 or 17 year old could be patted down, could be checked for weapons, could be detained. Where it goes too far is where you detain them for an extended period of time. They advise you that they're 17 years of age. Under Louisiana Children's Code, you cannot interrogate or question a minor without having a parent and or an attorney present. The officers were aware of that. How old are you? 16. The teenager was eventually released without any charges. Thompson already represents half a dozen people who claim they were subjected to bad treatment at the hands of former members of the street crimes unit. He says the teenager, now 18, will be added to the lawsuits against the department. He says at the end of the day, this is about holding the officers involved accountable for their alleged bad behavior. Individuals with badges have a lot of responsibility and power. And what I would say to the public, 
that if it was your mother, if it was your child that was sitting in front of a house eating crawfish and they were then taken to a warehouse where you didn't know where they were at and they were interrogated and strip searched, how would you feel? Would you, would you want these individuals on the street? We asked Baton Rouge police several times for a comment on this story, but never received a response. All right, Liz, thank you for that. So the port strike is over for 